people of my generation were extremely future oriented back in the late 60s and the early 70s. We all believed that we could create a better future. You had cafe culture, you had people meeting in open spaces in a very neutral venue. Trying stuff out, uh, not being precious about it, that, that, that's wonderful. And in a way, society has got so stuck in doing things according to rules that other people have defined. We were dreaming of having some form of mechanism or some form of uh, organisation that would help us to, to improve ourselves, our, improve the world for the future. And it's very encouraging to see a, a younger generation that is now looking to improve with specifics. The Sandbox is a wonderful thing because it takes you back, all of us, to your youth and playing in the Sandbox. You're doing this, and then you're doing this, and then you're doing that. Well, how do we link it all up and allow it all to flow much better? Like, okay, let's see what's, what's going on in the city, and let's see who is interesting to collaborate with and what we can actually achieve. Suddenly what jumps into your head, uh, aside from its technical possibilities, is not a noun, it's a verb. It's, it's something that you do. Probably the most important thing is um, is to have a good vibe, to have people excited about the event, and to have them come here with expectations, not necessarily something concrete. Your your perception changes, but you never you know you never know what what other way is possible till you come across something that actually triggers that. And I think it's about this trigger that we're looking for in the Sandbox Festival.